Okay, great. Okay, so this is CV Studio, our computer vision learning studio. And this is a tool that we built to help people uh, mainly learn how to create computer vision applications, how to learn how to code computer vision. It's actually based off of uh, Nick's cloud annotations. And our focus was really on just walking people through and teaching people and educating people how to do computer vision uh, by leveraging a bunch of different tools we have. So this is just our landing page, just to get people interested. We have a couple demos, which for now I'll just uh, skip. They just open up little uh, frames where you can open, use your webcam and see little boxes uh, or upload pictures to classify them. Uh, but the main uh, point that we drive through for uh, CV Studio is we walk people through a five step process uh, for learning computer vision. <clears throat> Excuse me, for learning computer vision. First, they upload their images. Uh, so that, or videos or whatnot, then they annotate or classify their images. Then they train their model. And this is right now using Jupyter notebooks, but we intend to, uh, wire in Watson ML and, uh, Lyra pipelines as well. And then after you have your model trained, you build, uh, an application with your model. So right now. Uh, building an application, which I'll demonstrate, could be just using your model within a notebook to show images, to uh, play around with it. You can open it in our cloud IDE, so it's like VS Code in the browser, and with that you can create like a Node.js application that uses your model. Or we have uh, integration with uh, Code Engine. So uh, if you're not aware, Code Engine is the new service, pretty much for serverless, so you can uh, deploy your applications and get a, a, URL, a publicly available URL. And what we've done is we've uh, not only given kind of a guide so that you can do it yourself within our cloud IDE, so within kind of VS Code, you can run CLI commands and deploy it, but we also have a way that you can have a single click uh, to deploy it and get your uh, model uh, deployed to the web. So bear in mind, this is still very much uh, a work in progress. So up until here, things work, but there's a lot of stuff in progress to make it uh, actually uh, very usable. And then I'll explain what that means as I go. And then finally, the last step, which is something we're actually fin finalizing this week, is after you've uh, created an application, it has a, a website that you can visit, you can showcase your app. And that's the idea that you want. You, we're going to have a place, a project gallery of sorts to share what you've created. People can view it. They can also learn from it and then click through and then create projects of their own based on it. We're also fully integrated through LTI, which is a uh, learning integration uh, standard. So pretty much that means like different learning platforms like OpenEdX, uh, Coursera can launch uh, CV Studio as a tool, uh, or we actually can launch other tools through LTI as well. So let me just get started. Uh, and when you Launch CV Studio, uh, you're going to be shown a list of your projects, and you can have either object detection or classification projects. Uh, for the demonstration, I'll just do a demo classification project, and I'll choose type classification and click create project. Let me upload. So I just have very, very sample images of dogs and cats right now. Uh, they were in a folder called dog and cat. So just 10. Normally when you're using this, you'll want to use more images or we have support, uh, well, through cloud annotations uh, for zip files and we're putting in a few other things as well. Uh, so next you're going to annotate your images, but so actually it only got dogs. Oops, I did those cats as dogs. Okay, make sure your images are annotated as dogs and cats respectively. And now you're ready to train your model. So to train your model, you get to this training run page where you create a new training run. And the idea is you're learning. So you might wanna compare a bunch of different ways of training your data. So and creating a model, you different algorithms, uh, different techniques, what using a GPU, which you can see is coming soon in the future, which would be 
via Watson ML and other things using a GPU, so on and so forth. So uh, let's just say I want to do something with KNN to start with. So I'm going to choose the tool, in this case it's Jupyter Notebook, and then I'm going to sele uh, select which notebook I want. Uh, right now we have KNN, uh, and these are created by our content team, and we're constantly iterating and hopefully going to be adding more of these in. But we have a KNN, and these are different uh, computer vision or data science algorithms, if you're not aware, for anyone watching. Uh, so KNN, we have CNN with PyTorch, SVM with HOG, as well as a CNN with Keras and TensorFlow. Uh, when you choose one, it gives you a little brief description of what you're going to accomplish in the notebook. Again, these are we're tweaking these descriptions. The goal is to make them uh, attractive. Say, in this, you're going to learn this. It's going to do that, or so on and so forth. And we also have this concept of tags. So we're going to be fleshing these out as well, but we have tags that say what libraries uh, you're going to use. So in this case, this KNN uses OpenCV. You can hover the little I for an explanation of the library, different concepts. In this case, it uses machine learning. Uh, and the idea is you're learning. This isn't necessarily for somebody's doing this as their full-time job, but when someone wants to learn about these things, being able to know you know what these different notebooks, what tools, what libraries I'm going to use, and in the future you'll be when we have more of these notebooks uh, and more content, we'll be able to you know easily search it. I want to learn PyTorch, so give me all the notebooks for PyTorch. Uh, and then I go ahead and click for create training run, and this will create a new training run which has not been run. You'll see it's called KNN for the start, which was what I named it. It's a notebook. Uh, I can see what it, what type I chose. It's the KNN algorithm. Again, I can get more information. I can see all the tags when it was created, but it's never been run. And you can see this little diamond is grayed out because I have no model. In order to create the model, and for KNN, a model, it's wishy-washy if, if KNN actually has a model because it needs the images, but... Uh, this does work with the others, it's just the same. Uh, so what this is now I'm doing by clicking, sorry, I clicked open notebook. And now this is actually launching through LTI into our, uh, if you're aware of the Leon's team and our skills network labs, we're now launching a notebook through skills network labs. Uh, pretty much it's an online uh, environment to run different labs. It has persistent storage. So that as you work in things and you save it, you can come back tomorrow and keep working wherever you left off. So this is going to open this Jupyter notebook uh, with all of my details configured and set up in it. So you can see this is my KNN notebook. Uh, it knows that this is for my project called Demo Classification, which is what I named this project, and it's for my training run called KNN for the Start. Uh, I'm just going to run through this super quick and not focus on what it's actually saying, but uh, this was created by someone named Aji on our team, so I'm going to say it's a really great notebook. Uh, but very quickly, what it's going to do is just going to import libraries, and one of, let me zoom in, actually, so everyone can see a little more, so my screen's really big. Uh, we have uh, our CV Studio package, uh, Python package, so you can just import this and then initialize it. You don't need to pass anything uh, special. We configured it so it knows what notebook or what training run, because eventually you'll have a lot of training runs and it can get confusing, but it just knows what training run. And then the first thing we want to do is just download all of our images. So I ran download all and we can see it ran and created an images folder, which has all of our images. Uh, up. And we also have a get annotations to list to get the annotations that we made. So pretty much which, which images are dogs and which images are cats. Uh, and let's show the first five. Now we're just I'm just going to run through this quickly. It shows you know here's a random dog image that you add that you uploaded. Here's some different things that we want to do. And eventually after going through the notebook, you'll get to uh, the end where you have created your model, you've trained everything. So again, normally this would take longer for other algorithms. You'd actually get a legitimate model file. In this case, 
uh, we're going to use the something like a KNN samples, which is like the samples. It's a metadata about it. So uh, it's kind of like a model, but not really if you know uh, a lot about the topic. But anyways, what we're going to do is two things. We're going to report back the best K. So as part of KNN, there's a concept of a you want to find what the best value of K is, is kind of a part of the point of this. And this case is saying five is our best K. So we're going to report that back to CV studio. We're also reporting back how long this training run took, uh, and how accurate it was, which is something else that happened up. I'm, I'm rushing through this because there's a lot to cover. We save our model and then we're going to upload our model back to CV studio. And now if I go back to CV studio and just refresh the page, We'll see that uh, our training run, it was fast. It took less than a second. We were able to determine our best K of five. And also now this model info is not grayed out. I can click it and we have a model. It has some of the metadata, the file name it has, the file size, so on and so forth. Now that I have a model, you can go ahead and use that model. So we'll go to the next section called use model. And when you wanna use the model, we call it creating applications. So I'm going to click create new application, uh, my first app, and you can choose two different models, either models that you've created in this project from your training range, which is what I'm going to do. But we also have the concept of uh, public models, and these are models that are pre-trained that are available for you. Uh, for example, like the hard cascades and other things like that. But for this example, I'll just choose, let's just choose a model from uh, the KNN. And now you can say, I want to investigate this model with a notebook, uh, with our cloud IDE, which is like VS code on the web, or I can deploy it uh, to code engine. In this case, we actually don't have a way of deploying it to code engine, this specific KNN. Uh, we, we, I'll show you what we do deploy, but we have a good notebook that walks you through it. And in the same way, you have your description, you get your tags, you create your application. Uh, you know what, to show something new, I'm gonna say, for example, I wanna now deploy something, I wanna deploy this model to uh, Code Engine. So this is something we're also working on this week. Right now, when we deploy to Code Engine, we're actually just deploying a a pre-coded, a, or a, a preset application. It's not actually using any of the models. It only works with this. Actually, this is actually wrong right now. It, it's a hot dog or not application. Pretty much it, it gives you a little website. You can drag and drop an image and it'll tell you if it's a hot dog or not. Uh, what we're doing this week is actually connecting all of this to make the application you launch actually leverage the model you select up here. So what I'm demonstrating right now is just that we have the ability to launch applications in Code Engine. Uh, what we'll have next week is the ability to launch applications in Code Engine that are actually <laughs> what you've created and actually leverage the models you've created. So I'll click create application. And now you can see I have a new row where it says we're deploying to Code Engine. I have a URL, which won't be available right now unless it's being really fast. No, so we'll wait a little bit while it goes, and I'll also show you the third type of application, which is our uh, Cloud IDE. So if you want to use CLI commands by you, like so, pretty much all the different IBM Cloud services. So you want to use IBM Cloud or Code Engine. Uh, to deploy and learn how to deploy. That's something else we're going to do. So we have a hello code engine. Uh, it, it's pretty much markdown that goes beside this VS code. And sorry that I'm going quick. I can say I just have 10 minutes and hopefully you might have some questions. Sorry. Sorry, just. I had to refresh the page for a second. Oh, our app is ready. So let me launch our cloud IDE.
And while that boots, now we can see that our uh, code engine deployment is ready. It's just our hot dog or not deploy. And you can see now I have a website. I can upload a picture. Okay, that's not a hot dog. So let's hope it says it's not a hot dog. To be honest, this is really just a, a hard coded Docker image that we have right now. The idea is to actually have something more legitimate. So it looks like it's okay. There we go. Not a hot dog. Great. Uh, so it works. Uh, at finding what's a hot dog or not. But the idea again is that this title up here would be the title from uh, their application and the model that would back it would be the model that they've created in their training run. And we should have that this week. So again, so now that our cloud ID is booted, pretty much you get VS code on the left. So you have, you know, your files that you can work with, but you also get your terminal. And this is pretty much a notebook, or sorry, some markdown instructions on the left, uh, which we're calling Hello Code Engine, uh, which pretty much just teach you and walk you through all the steps required to deploy your model through Code Engine. Uh, sorry, my browser is freezing up. Uh, to Code Engine, so how to create your project in Code Engine and list it. So pretty much, if you not only want to learn about uh, the the, the data science and all the algorithms regarding it, and you actually want to learn, okay, how do I actually deploy, which is something we've actually heard a lot from people uh, and data scientists specifically. They create all these cool models and they, and, and they spend a lot of time to create them, but they always ask, now what? I want to deploy this. I want to share it with the world. So this is going to teach them uh, if they actually want to learn how to deploy this, in this case, to Code Engine, but we can create really whatever we want. Uh, how to deploy your models and stuff to Code Engine. And we try and be a little fun, put some images. Again, this is not mainly, well, actually, you know, it, it's for both professionals. Uh, it's, it's for anyone, just the content, which is what we changed for. So uh, this pretty much walks you through, and you can run the IBM Cloud commands as well uh, here, but I'll spare you given we have five minutes. So that is pretty much what you get and in within cv studio and the last step is once you you know created some applications they have urls uh you can now the next step is to now share it with the world and we're going to be creating a project gallery where people are going to be sharing these which will hopefully you know something that they can both share for uh their friends and family share on a resume uh, uh so on and so forth so yeah, so I guess uh, I really just lightning bolted through this. So do you have any questions?